Yes then guys, how are you doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel for another player view. It's an end of an era and I could have not do it. I can't help myself boys. 83 and 86 overall team needed. I don't necessarily need a left back, but I've got, I've got a new one boys. And it is a Dortmund legend, Marcel Schmelzer. I'm pretty certain Schmelzer has been there for like 13 or 14 years. A crazy long time and it is well and truly an end of an era. Now 5 foot 11, medium high left footed free star, free star. I'm thinking, I play a free back, I'm going to have this man on the left side of my back three. 100%. It's a crazy card. Going forward, like he even offers a lot, maybe not with the finishing, but the passing should be good. The link-up play should be good. So you could potentially use him as that left midfielder, kind of coming back and helping out the defence. But the pace is there with the 95. The dribbling stacks look decent. Reactions, composure, happy days. Defensively solid, a lot of high tier 90s across the board. The strength, the aggression, the stamina, the jumping. He looks solid. He's fist bumping the boys as well. It's a decent card and for the price, I'm probably going to say it's a W early doors before I've even used him. Every end of an era, in my opinion, is a W. It's a sick dynamic image. I'm excited to try him out today, boys. As I said, he will be the uh, left side of a back three. As well as this, we also have the Com the Ball Libertadores team of the group stage. This out. And there's some mental cards. So if you want me to see any uh, any review on those later today, boys, let me know down below in the comment section. But let's drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's do this. Guys, I kid you not, I have played two games and been given a free win in both of them. So third time lucky here. My man's got a decent team. I was just quickly looking at Julian Alvarez's uh, price tag. He's currently extinct, no surprise. But come on now, boys. I don't, I'm not going to say, I'm going to say I don't want a free win, but I want to be able to test out our man. All right, so with a centre-back player view or a defender player view, it's a little bit difficult. Obviously, my opponent needs to go forward and I need to test him out defensively, but I cannot resist the urge to go on some long, mazy runs with a man. Initially, he feels quick off the blocks. Body type's not ideal, but the dribbling's nice, boys. Patrick, almost the debut assist two minutes in. So guys, what do you think of the Comnibal Libertadores team? Are you excited? I've seen some crazy, crazy cards. As I said, Julian Alvarez is in there. We've got Benedetto, who I kid you not, when I first started my YouTube journey, boys, I reviewed him when he was in the Ligue 1. And I scored a goal with that man from my own half, all right? My opponent's keeper wasn't in the goal, full disclaimer. But it was a screamer, and it stuck with me ever since. So we definitely might try to pick him up. But the prices are going to be crazy, especially as not many packs are being opened. So the likelihood of reviewing them tonight might be a little bit ambitious, boys. But let me know down below if you do want to see it. And also let me know what you think at the end of the era cards we've seen so far. All right. I've got all of them as, it, as of yet, apart from Fabregas. He's the only one who I've not gotten, mainly because I'm disappointed in EA for making this card so damn bad. What's good about having a, uh, a left back who's got medium high work rates, big interception, uh, from our boy is that I'm used to using fullbacks with high high like they're always bombing forward I tend to play them as left midfielders so it's quite nice to have one that's medium high which means he's gonna do his job defensively and occasionally if I need to trigger runs forward I can do by doing the, the left bumper passes but from what I've seen so far he seems quick he seems snappy on the ball physical body type as well the aggression's a nice little bonus it's gonna be hard into the tackle uh, it's early doors let's see if we can keep the clean sheet oh done boy Insigne use those legs little lad Draws the foul. What is Schmelzer's uh, free kick stats telling me? That's surely a booking as well, right? Shambles from you, Sunshine. We've got something free kick wise, but nothing crazy. I'm definitely going to give it a go. I'm going to put it about here, a little bit of power and try and green time it. And that wasn't a bad effort. It's troubled the hair. So maybe, I mean, at this stage of the game, there's so many crazy cards with decent free kick stats. Uh, he's probably not going to get your free kicks. But you never know. If you don't have too many people who are decent at set pieces, Schmelzer could step up for sure. I mean, the pace is noticeable, as the pace is noticeable. The assist is there, boys. Schmelzer gets the assist from centre back. It's in here with a goal. Let's get under game number two. I'll tell you what, boys, in this one, I'm actually going to play him as a left midfielder. I liked what I saw there. The pace, he looked quick, he looked snappy coming forward, and the assist. I mean, medium high as a left mid is not a bad thing. I play comeback on the fence on my uh, outside play as the left mid or the right mid. So maybe that is where he is best suited. The only issue I have with that is the finishing. And I guess the freestyle, freestyle. That's a sick team. Where are the dynamic images for the Belgian Pro League, by the way, boys? It's been so long. I mean, it's the perfect running behind there for medium high work rate. So that little dink in the middle, perfectly picked out. Who is that man? That's centre half. Is that Andy Carroll playing centre back for my opponent? 
big from Kula Daddy. Satting down a treat. Tenali with the block. Defending like pure Spartans right now, boys. A Schmelzer with a block. Look at it, man. The defensive awareness, tracking back, the work rate. That's things you love to see. He's been dispossessed there, unfortunately. Uh, but the block in the first place was decent. The only issue playing him in this position might be the stamina. But that's a nice ball out to Maradona. Spreading the play quickly. And I can't do anything with it, unfortunately. Lads, we've actually been nutmegged. I have been nutmegged by Insigne. Got to give it to my opponent. I mean, it's nice at the end of the day. It's a decent looking goal. He has the pace, but let's be real. In this situation, you want someone a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker. Because Reese James is currently bodying him. Huge and Modric, that's huge. We can punish him. Insigne's in. Near post. We are oh, knew he's going to be the keeper. This man's decent, you know. He's decent. And he's quit at 1-0. <laughs> Lovely. Right, game number three then, boys. What are we saying? There's some stacked teams, lads. Qualifying on the weekend is it's not easy. Oh, Insigne, dancing, dancing. So that's the thing we're playing left mid as well. He's not really going to be supporting me in this situation because of the work rate. Like he's taking his time to get up there. I don't mind that necessarily, uh, but occasionally it might be nice. But the pace looks good there. Maradona, give and go to Schmelzer. Drive it across, lads. A better pass there, and uh, that should be a Modric tap him. Tap him on the overlap there. Love that. Lovely first touch. The pass is questionable, but we do get the luck. Double A across Insigne. It's an assist for our man. Is that a quit? Are we saying bye-bye? Yes, we are. So, guys, that is a total of five games played with my man. Take in mind, two people quit at 0-0. Uh, one man quit at 1-0, and the rest of the two games, we managed to get the W in a rage quit fashion. But two assists for the boy. Now, I feel like this card is good. It's very good, but it depends where you want to play him, lads. I would 100% recommend playing him as an out-and-out -out center back in a back three. But if you're not rocking a back three... A left back, yeah, stick in there. He's going to be solid for you. If you're rocking the free back and you want a left back who's going to be able to bomb forward, support the player attacking, he can do this. However, the finish is going to let him down. The passing let him down occasionally in the final third. The dribbling as well is a little bit more on the stocky side of things. He's definitely suited as an out-and-out -out defender. However, saying that, really, really, really nice card for the price. 83, 86 overall team. There's a little, little bit, you know, a bit of something, a bit of sauce, a bit of samba sauce. Occasionally, he was drifting past players nicely. Freestyle, freestyle is a little bit of an issue as well. He's very one-sided, but that is fine. Would I use him over the likes of Nuno Mendes, for example? Me personally, probably not. I prefer similar players like Nuno Mendes in, in my uh, fullback positions. However, this man will do a solid job for you if you're running a Bundesliga setup. And of course, it's the end of an era. One of the best card designs in the game, in my opinion, lads. If you're a Dortmund fan, I bet you're loving life right now. Bundesliga boys. Is he better than Defonso Davies? Very different cards. I tell you what, boys. This man of Danny Da Costa. Ooh. Play. Right, hold up. Hear me out here. If you've got Danny Da Costa and you're running a Bundesliga setup, get in Schmelzer. Play Schuler, for example, smack bang in the center. A big bruising uh, center back. In a back three, Schmelzer, Da Costa either side. That is dangerous, lads. Sorry, let me quickly add a, a contract to these boys before I lose my mind. But in my opinion, it is a W, lads. Let me know down below what you think of Schmelzer and the Com, the Ball, Libertadores uh, team in the group stage. I've been Morsi. Subscribe if you're new. Drop me a like if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you later.